You guys are very interested in REITs, which is short for Real Estate Investment Trusts. We made a couple of videos about the concept of REITs already and why German REITs may not be as great as REITs in the US for example. But if you still like to invest in German REITs, the question is of course, which REIT in Germany is the best? Let's find out together by comparing the four different REITs in Germany in this German Real Estate FAQ. If you don't know what a REIT is and why they need massive improvement, I encourage you to watch our older videos before watching this video. Because I'm not gonna repeat the basics that we discussed earlier. Today we take a look at the four REITs in detail. Why only four? Because that's all REITs Germany has since the Deutsche Industrie REIT was delisted last year. So let's compare the remaining four REITs in Germany with the most important facts for investors. The strategy each REIT has, their portfolio size, their dividend yield and their past returns. To find out which is the best REIT in Germany. Let's start alphabetically with the Alstria office REIT. Their strategy is, you guessed it, to invest in different office buildings in A-like Alstria A locations. Hamburg, Düsseldorf, Frankfurt or Berlin. And they accumulated quite some portfolio. 108 different properties with a valuation of 4.7 billion euros. Where did we get all the numbers and data from? These first three columns are coming from the respective website of the read itself. So if any of this is wrong, don't hate me for it, we just use what the reads publish themselves on their own websites. And as they are highly regulated, publicly traded companies, it should be correct. Readings to Wirecard and the financial data with the dividends and the historic return we got from Finanzen.net, a website that I personally like a lot. Let's see financial data for Alstria Office Read. Dividend yield last year, which is for many investors the main reason to invest in REITs, the juicy dividends, was 0.77%. And I'm that serious, you can check it out yourself online. And the year before it was 0.2% only. And the next two years it's planned to be 0.37% until they might, might increase the dividend yield to 6% in 2025. This goes to show you what I was explaining in our previous REIT videos. German REITs are not what you would expect from a REIT. And the deeper you dig, the worse it gets. Because over the last year, Alstria Office REIT lost 53.3% in value. Half of investors' money, pff, gone. Over the last three years, minus 53% with dividends and minus 62% without dividends. And over the last five years, minus 40% with dividends and minus 58% without dividends. This is what I don't understand, but maybe some of you guys can help me. Over the last five years, the average property in Germany increased in value by 7.2% in 2018, 9.3% in 2019, 9.6% in 2020, 14.2% in 2021, and minus 0.7% in 2022. That is almost 40% plus. How the f how the actual f is it possible that a real estate investment company loses 40% while property prices increase by 40%? Am I the only one or can somebody explain this to me? And the Postbank numbers from their Wohnatlas are after inflation. So last year, since they factored in an inflation rate of 6.9%, property prices increased actually by 6.2% nominally without inflation and minus 0.7% accounted for inflation. Not sure about you guys, but the German real estate investment industry needs change, big time. And that's why we founded German Real Estate to give you guys the chance to earn money with real estate. Because with all these traditional REITs, the money from the 40% property price increase over the last years is somewhere I can guarantee you that it's just not in the investor's pockets. Let's see if the second REIT in Germany, the Deutsche Konsum REIT, is doing better to restore our faith in the German REITs. Their focus is to invest in retail properties only mostly in B and C locations, as you can see in this map from their website. Their portfolio is significantly smaller than the Alstria portfolio, but a lot more diversified with almost double the amount of properties. 
Their dividend yield is also almost double of Alstria and is expected to increase faster than Alstria to the 5-6% to range. We'll see if that really happens. I would be cautiously excited if I were an investor, given the history of all these REITs. And now, the almighty question, how did Deutsche Konsum REIT deliver in the past? Because so far it looks okayish to me. Okayish just before we reveal they lost 41% over one year, 55% over three years, or 60% without dividends, or minus 26% with dividends over the last five years, almost minus 40% without dividends. Oh, German reads, why are you doing this to us? You had so much potential. I can bring at least a little bit of good news with the next German read, the fair value read. While Alstria is focusing on A locations only and Deutsche Konsum read on B and C locations, Fair Value read buys retail and office buildings in C locations only. Here's the map from their website where they own over 20 properties in. And if anyone from Fair Value read is watching this, the 1970s just called, they want their map back. The good news I was teasing is the dividend yield of 7.4% last year. Now we're talking, huh? In the dividend yield of just these three REITs, you can see perfectly that there is not one real estate in Germany, but that there are big differences. In the A locations, the seven largest cities in Germany, you don't get a lot of rent in relation to the property price. That is one, if not the biggest reason why Alstria has such a low dividend yield. Because where else is the dividend coming from, if not from the rent from tenants? And in the C locations, you get a lot more rent in relation to the property price. The property price increase may be lower, yes. The risk may be higher, also yes. So you just gotta figure out as an investor what you're looking for. And that's why we kept the minimum investment on our German real dot estate marketplace with 100 euro as low as possible so you can build yourself a nice diversified portfolio. Enough praising of fair value read because they lost 25% over one year and almost 40% over the last five years, or 22% with dividends. <sighs> and last but certainly not least, the best performing German REIT, which <laughs> hurts so much to say given the numbers, but it's true unfortunately, the Hamburger REIT. They invest in commercial properties only, some in city centers and some in the suburbs wherever it makes sense. They have 66 properties all over Germany, as you can see in the map from their website, worth about 1.6 billion euro. Their dividend yield is with 7% about as high as the fair value read, which clearly separates them from the other two reads here in Germany. And now, when talking about the historic return, we have a little sensation, which, before we close this chapter, Please keep in mind that past performance is no guarantee for future results. I just honestly wonder how it is possible for REITs to lose almost 60% while average property prices in Germany increase by 40% after inflation. I don't think they work in the best interest for investors here, but that's just my personal opinion. Hamborner REIT also lost 25% over one year, can keep almost even with the dividends over three years which still means investors lost money because you have to pay 25% capital gains tax on dividends. And over five years, we have a sensation about minus 20% without dividends, but plus 11.4% with dividends. We are still light years away from where REITs should be, in my opinion, given the real estate boom here in Germany over the last 10-ish years but at least it's a little glimpse of hope. I hope you guys enjoyed our German read comparison. See you in the next video.